Just hold up for a second. I think I'm going to change the name of the channel. Oh? Life is like hiking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but who doesn't want to hike when it's like this? It was a lazy morning, and there's a bit of overcast, well, quite a bit, but it's still pretty warm out, and we are going to try to climb up to the bluffs where we can actually see the bay that we're anchored in, because yesterday we were unsuccessful, and we're at the same beach that we were at last night for the campfire, and the good news is there's no fresh wolf tracks on the beach, and there's some other little tracks, I don't know what they are, some sort of little varmint, but uh, not too concerned about him, they're just tiny. And we were looking at where we could or bring the dinghy up in the bay we're in, and this is just right on the edge of it where, the, where we had the fire, and I thought, well, let's just bring it here and we can get it up high enough that we don't need to worry about tides. And we'll leave it here, and then we'll just walk down the beach this way until we can find a spot to get in and try to get up to those bluffs. We stopped for a nutrition break. Yep, never too early for berries. Do you mind if we just go over this way? I think if we go up here, and then maybe there's a ridge along the back side, but it looks like there's a big valley in here. bushwhacked through. I, I need to give more credit and put more faith in Devlin's abilities to get through the bush. <laughs> and she found us a route and uh, we came into the opening here and found the bluff that looks down onto Moonshine. So we've just been sitting here probably 30 or 40 minutes now. Moonshine's that tiny little speck in the distance behind you. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if it's, it must be in frame then. Yeah. And, yeah, just sitting here taking it all in. Asking yourself questions like, how long has this rock been sitting here? <laughs> Putting things into perspective. What a tiny little blip we are. Looking for wolves? Yeah, I've been scouting the ridges. I thought I saw a wolf on the far ridge. It was kind of like a larger mass and then some little spindly legs and I thought I saw it moving but it was a bush. It's way off in the distance. And there's a ridge over that we were on yesterday that we were at uh, to my right and we could see a big pond and now I can see the pond from this direction so it's kind of nice to orientate where we are exactly. And it looks like we could have easily made it through this little low area. We thought we'd have to walk further around the ridges to get to uh, this bay. So we weren't too far, it turns out. But it's uh, all pretty cool back here. Hearing different birds and all the different trees and very dry though. I think because it's so rocky, I just don't think there's a lot of water retention. In there's not much soil, like it's mostly just moss, and then uh, very little dirt. It seems like. Yeah, so it's been nice just sitting up here for a while, relaxing, and I think we're going to hike back down now. And. Maybe go over to that large beach that we saw the first day we were here. And uh, we want to do that because tomorrow we're on our way somewhere else on the move again. So, yeah, it's a good spot. If you ever can make it to Campania, I recommend it for sure. And definitely come up and do some hiking in the rocky areas here. Very interesting. Oh. I'd rather have more flagging than less flagging. <laughs> We made it. We made it. Good flagging job. Thanks. There may be one or two missing still in there. Oh, well, we found our way out. Found our way out. And there's a sign. Yeah. Definitely. And we still might have enough shoreline to get to the dinghy. So we're at the large beach. <laughs> My mouth is okay. Oh, and you need energy for what? I'm doing another hike. And where to? To a lake. And you're pretty excited because you've been talking about doing this hike to the lake <laughs> since before we got here. And it looks like it's a pretty well-established trail. Mm -hmm. Unlike 
our earlier hike today? Yes. So apparently it's not too far. Okay. Well, let's check it out. Just hold up for a second. I think I'm going to change the name of the channel. Oh? Life is like hiking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but who doesn't want to hike when it's like this? I know, I'm just joking. We'll call it Life is like sailing. This is just the special edition, hiking edition. Special hiking edition. Yeah. To get to see the cool flowers and all the berries and the bounty from the land. Yes. And since we were beach combing, was the second plan of the day, not bushwhacking, what are we wearing again? Rubber boots. <laughs> so back into our uh, northern BC hiking. Yeah, we floor. dropped. We just dropped our runners off at the boat. So because we were just planning on beach combing. Exactly. And found a trailhead on our way to a lake. So we're gonna just get over these ridges here. We're back up in this barren area. <laughs> of the island yeah. and we just can't seem to stay away from it we'll go see what we see yeah there better be a lake so every uh quarter mile yeah. or so there's rocks piled up on large boulders like this. So this is obviously a, a trail. You probably can't see them, but they're right down in the low area there. There's another big boulder with three rocks on top. So this is what we're following, and we are flagging periodically, but this also kind of reassures us that we're on the right path and heading the right direction to this lake. <laughs> yeah. Possibly imaginary, to be determined. <laughs> there is a lake way off in the distance there, but I don't think that's the one we're looking for because the rocks are not telling us to go that way. All right, what have you found? We found some lakes. There's uh, a big one down here, a small one over there, and on this side there's another one that looks like a murky pond. Lots of lily pads in it. The hike took us a little longer than we thought, and we lost track of the marked trail. I think it just ended, and then uh, we blazed our own trail from there. And this last ridge was the this is the one we said this this would be the last ridge to check, and we can well we saw this one a little earlier, but we were thinking the lakes were more this way, so we've seen them. A few bugs out. But not too bad. Nothing like Edith Harbor. The bugs there are legendary. I'm, my scars. You know, are... everything's <laughs> everything's relative to Edith Harbor. Yes, and my scars on my neck and face are just healing now um, from those bugs. Yeah, so I think we'll sit here, take it in for a minute, and then head back to the beach. And it should be lower water now. It was right at high when we got there, so probably 45 minutes. We'll be back at the beach and. Uh, do a little beach combing, then head back for dinner, I think. Oh, really nice urchin shell. Oh, it's not totally good on the back, but looks good on top. 
Yeah, I'll take a picture of it and leave it just in case. Little urchin show on the trail. We made it. Let's sort out that dinghy first. <laughs> We made it. Good day. Fantastic day exploring Campania. <laughs> Good. It's a really cool terrain up there. Very barren. Uh, and so different from what you would expect to see. And what it's like down on the water here. It's really nice to see that part of it. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to do some more exploring. Yeah, check out place. some new places. We've been here three days, so I'm ready to move, and I think you are too. And We busted into the chocolate chip cookies. It took us till day five, but we did that. Yes. Vern would have had them on day one. He would have finished them, I think. <laughs> so if you're watching, Vern, I uh, had my first chocolate chip cookie on day five of this trip. So, I hope you enjoyed the cookies that uh, Devlin made for you. I know you did, you already told me, but... Uh, we did have other treats earlier in the week. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and it's a good night, I think. We're gonna call it a night pretty soon. Download some video. Get an early night. Not that we have a big day tomorrow, seven miles. But uh, there's a bit of overcast and... Looks like the weather's turning a little, so we'll just keep fingers crossed for no rain. But uh, yeah, off to new places tomorrow. <laughs>